<laughs> What's going on everybody? It's And today I've got some artist gameplay and this build is just gonna be one of my favorite artist builds um, I run this all the time back when I made artist before singularity came out. This builds really good I've won so many games with it. I barely lose with this build. Uh, let's get right into it So the first perk we have is discordance any generator within a range of 128 meters that is being repaired by two or more survivors is marked by a yellow aura. It's just blah, 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 blah. It just lets you know if more than two people are working on the gen. That's basically it. And then we got barbecue and chili for some aura readings. So we can fire our crows across the map after getting a hook. And then we've got uh, dead man switch and painting residence. Everyone knows what these two perks do. If you don't, uh, dead man switch is if someone gets off of a generator after I hook a survivor, the gen is blocked for 30 seconds. Uh, paint and res is if I hook a survivor for the first time on a scourge hook, the generator with the most amount of progress instantly loses 25% progress and will start to regress. So I could do that up to four times. So with pain res and dead man's, the gen will blow up and it'll instantly block it because the survivors are going to scream because it's exploding. And then what really brings this build together is the severed hands. Any survivor near a survivor being swarmed by dire crows will also be swarmed. So if I swarm someone on a discordance gen, the other person's getting swarmed too. So that's two people with crows, two people I can damage. You guys will see in the gameplay that I get a lot of value out of all of these perks. Um, this is just honestly, I think one of her best builds in the game. Only one regression perk, one slowdown perk, two information perks. It's pretty good. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. See you later. All right, here we are, Rotten Fields. This actually should be pretty good for us. Uh, no, it's a flat map, really open. So what we could do. So the start of the game, I kind of like a, to assess my generators and see which ones are the furthest. So I think I'm gonna fire a crow there, there, and there. See if we get any hits. We got that hit, nice. Quick little mind game. And we're also waiting to see if we could get a discordance proc. Just so we could use our uh, severed hands. Get him away from the shack. We have a discordance proc right now. Does he throw the pallet? No, he greets it. Perfect. And where's our discordance? It's at the killer shack. So we could go ahead and do this. One, two. Walk a little bit forward. Uh, they're actually off the gen now. Let's fire that. We hit a guy. He's just... I don't know. Okay. Whatever. Oh my god! There's a guy right there! I wasn't really paying attention to the lobby. He saw us place that. If he throws his pallet, he resets his crows. Nice. I'll actually take that any day. Oh, we didn't get the uh, we didn't get the down. That's fine. We have a girl hiding right here at this hook. I don't know what they're doing right now. They're kind of uh, just throwing themselves at me, which is totally fine. She's a little silly. She's never played against artists before. We have another discordance proc. So let's see if we could uh, get this little slingshot going right here. Walk up to about there and fire. Look at that, we got it down. Pretty free. And we know the guy that flashlight saved us is crowed up right now. Let's try to go for a pain res here. It's exactly how you want this to go. So they're healing, obviously. That guy touched the gen. Uh, let's just fire at that gen. See if we get a hit. No hit. Yeah, we got him on this one. Nice. Get out of that locker. Alright, they healed on hook. Good information for us. Means they're not working on any gens. Let's go ahead and get another pain res. What's the downside? So, as you can see, we have the aura read right there. Let's fire a crow right there, see if we can hit someone. I oh, just missed. Boom, got the hit. Got the hit again. Perfect. Going down, Gabriel someone. Ah, boom. Very nice. Now we can. That guy killed himself on hook. Alright. 
There we go. We've successfully gone after everybody. Let's act like we don't see this guy. Fire crow right there, Adam. Oh, we just missed. Alright. Actually, we haven't gone out. We haven't technically hooked Adam yet because. Let's go ahead and get that guy birded up. Let's go ahead and hit him. We just missed. What the? What's Gabriel doing over here? Gabriel's throwing down pallets. Alright. If he vaults, he resets the birds. And there we go. Alright. We can pain res him as well. Uh, actually, no, we can't. Uh, unless we go over here. But yeah, guys, this build is strong, as you guys can see. You just kind of got to know what you're doing with the crows a little bit. But Discordance and Barbecue kind of lets you know what to do. As you can see, we got more aura readings on the Gabriel right there. Let's go ahead and see if we can slingshot just the Gabriel. That'd be really funny. Oh, we almost got him. Nice stall, nice stall. He threw the pallet down, his crows reset. Now he's dead. <laughs> I don't know who we haven't pain rezzed. Maybe Gabriel? I guess it was Gabriel. So there we go, we have auras now. It's really hard to see auras on this map, not gonna lie. Okay, Adam. Just barely missed. Killer Instinct, he doesn't know about it. The Ada Walk is just over there. It's dead hard. I got you, TJ, or CJ, Adam. I think Ada Wong has distortion. I feel like I haven't seen her aura on, like, any hook. Yeah, no, we have no auras. She could be, like, right here. Well, that game went pretty nicely. Uh, let's get into the next one. Alright, Ironworks. Alright, this should be good. Another relatively flat map, except for the main building here. Uh, last game was absolute domination, but you can expect to see that kind of uh, results with this build, in my opinion. Uh, we have a guy, or a girl right here, immediately. Let's go ahead and bird her up. Look at her, she's in a dead zone. We missed, she vaults. We barely missed. We get a hit here now. This person kind of knows what they're doing, or I don't know what I'm doing. It's one of the. It's one of the two. The only thing is, they might get a gen done now because I don't know where they could be. Either there, or there. There we go. This one on that gen. They're kind of freaking out a little bit. Owie. Let's get this girl down. There we go. Beautiful. Let's actually send a bird off over there. Maybe get them off that gen before we pick up. Perfect. Maybe get a pain res. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Perfect. Look at how many there are. Fire. Maybe get a hit. Oh, we just got another uh, tag. Come right through here. This guy had no idea. He's going up, which is not something we want to see. We got it down. Perfect. All right. Been a little bit of a rough start in that first chase, but I think we're fine now. We don't have another pain res in sight, unfortunately. We're going to have to hook this guy normally. Two gens should be done pretty soon if we don't get another down and another pain res instantly. Let's see. Let's go for that guy. That girl. 
She's gonna stick that gen, I think. Oh, we just barely missed. Fired it a little too late. She this is not window side. So we should be able to get a hit here, I think. Yep, get a nice hit. Let's go ahead and fire two crows at this hook over here. Maybe we could get a slingshot on the hook. They actually uh, stopped. Okay. <clears throat> we have a discordance on this gen right here. We know there's another guy here. See if we can pick him up. Yeah, we fake this guy. Does this guy have dead heart? He's staring at me like he has dead heart. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's go leave that guy on the pallet. Can we make it over to this pain res? I think we can. Please! Please! Oh my god, that was so close. If I were to guess, Nia is back on this gen. Yep. Let's get a dead man's on that. Didn't quite get the hit. She is injured, and there's nowhere for her to go. So we do get the down. Perfect. Let's kick this gin. Can't get another pain res on our uh, our girl Nia. We got a discordance. We got a discordance on this gen right here next to us. Which totally fine. This guy just threw the game. I don't know why he did that. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Get a double crow on this situation right here. Oh, she's gone, gone. All right, we'll go for the this girl here. I have no idea where the other Leon is. Yeah, hit the bird, hit the bird. Exactly what I wanted. Perfect. And there's someone here. Then we see Leon running off in the distance over that way. Perfect. We haven't got value crazily out of our uh works this game. Alright, Crow there. If he decides to pick up, it will get both of them. Oh yeah, we got Leon. Let's give this uh, other girl a chance here. Oh, never mind. <laughs> um, where does she run to? She's running this direction. Nice dodge. Not a nice dodge. Ooh. And uh, she pre-drops here? She does not pre-drop. That guy had deliverance or some shit? It's close. Damn. This girl is perfect. Yeah, we got it with that. We don't have a crow yet. We don't have a crow yet, ma'am. <laughs> I 
<laughs> he gave up. Alright, well, that's a GG. Hope you guys enjoyed the build. As you can see, it is very strong. It's extremely strong. Even if you're not getting, like, insta-hit, like, slingshot hits with the scordons and stuff. Just the constant information, the constant pressure on multiple people with the crows is, en is enough damage. It's enough damage, honestly. And if you know how to place your crows, you're going to have a wonderful time with this. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, I got another video coming soon. I'll see you guys in the next one.